Hello, my amazing children. This is Grandma Carla, and I am back with another Cynthia Ryland book, The Relatives Came. And this one is delightful. It's a lot of fun, so hopefully you will enjoy it. It was in the summer of the year when the relatives came. They came up from Virginia. They left when their grapes were nearly purple enough to pick, but not quite. I'll show you the pictures. They had an old station wagon that smelled like a real car, and in it they put an ice chest full of soda pop and some boxes of crackers and some bologna sandwiches, and up they came from Virginia. They left at four in the morning when it was still dark before even the birds were awake. Here they come up from Virginia before the birds are even awake. They drove all day long and into the night, and while they traveled along, they looked at the strange houses in different mountains, and they thought about their almost purple grapes back home. They thought about Virginia, but they thought about us, too, waiting for them. Oh, look at those deep mountain valleys there. They are on their way. So they drank up all their pop, and they ate up all their crackers, and they traveled up all those miles until finally they pulled into our yard. And there they are. It almost looks like they hit the fence, doesn't it? There they all come to welcome their relatives. Then it was hugging time. Talk about hugging. Those relatives just passed us all around their car, pulling us against their wrinkled Virginia clothes, crying sometimes. They hugged us for hours. Look at all of the relatives hugging and hugging and hugging. Then... It was into the house and so much laughing and shining faces and hugging in the doorways. You'd have to go through at least four different hugs to get from the kitchen to the front room, those relatives. So if you look in each little, here's the front door and here's one window. It looks like a grandma's hugging and then another window and then another window all the way through the house. Hugging, 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 lots of relatives. And finally, after a big supper, two or three times around until we all got a turn at the table, there was quiet talk and we were in twos and threes throughout the house. It's like a lot of people, doesn't it? The relatives weren't particular about beds, which was good since there weren't any extras. So a few squeezed in with us and the rest slept on the floor, some with their arms thrown over the closest person or some with an arm across one person and a leg across another. It was different going to sleep with all that new breathing in the house. Just an arm across, a leg across. They were all sharing beds. And it looks like she may be having a hard time getting to sleep with all of the new breathing in the house. Look at all their funny positions of sleeping. The relatives stayed for weeks and weeks. They helped us tend the garden and they fixed any broken things they could find. So at least they're helpful relatives, right? Look at all the people. Well, there's somebody cutting hair and giving rides. 
intending garden. Lots of relatives. They're playing in boxes. I love to play in boxes. <coughs> Excuse me. They ate up all our strawberries and melons, then promised that we could eat up all their grapes and peaches when we came to Virginia. Oh, they got a little band going. They like to play instruments together. There they're fixing fences. Ate up all their strawberries and melons. But none of us thought about Virginia much. We were so busy hugging and eating and breathing together. Busy, busy. Let's see if I can turn the page. It doesn't want to turn here. There we go. Finally, after a long time, the relatives loaded up their ice chest and headed back to Virginia at four in the morning. We stood there in our pajamas and waved them off in the dark. We watched the relatives disappear down the road. Then we crawled back into our beds that felt too big and too quiet. We fell asleep. There the relatives all go. And there's the family watching them go. Oh, everything is so quiet as all the relatives are gone. And the relatives drove on all day long and into the night. And while they traveled along, they looked at the strange houses and different mountains. And they thought about their dark purple grapes waiting at home in Virginia. But they thought about us too, missing them. And they missed us. And when they were finally home in Virginia, they crawled into their silent, soft beds and dreamed about the next summer. There they are back at their home in Virginia. And there's a picture of the dark purple grapes. I enjoyed that story. Did you have some relatives that maybe came to your house? to visit recently. I had a lot of my children come and visit me for Christmas and we just had the best time. I hope you have had a lot of fun with relatives too. This is Grandma Carla and I love you.